we are gonna tighten and define our biceps, triceps, shoulders, chest, and back muscles, and it's all gonna be in just over 20 minutes. We are working at pyramid style today for this upper body blast. And the only thing you need will be your dumbbells. I'm going to use 5 kg and 7.5 kg just to give you a range, but you want to pick something that is going to challenge those muscles. Now the structure for this workout is going to come up right here for you. And I'm just going to quickly explain how this is a pyramid style workout. So the reason this is a pyramid style workout is because we're going to stop at the start at the top of the pyramid and work our way down, starting with 30 seconds, 45, and then 60 seconds of work. So make sure you're going heavy enough. The first exercise we are doing today is going to be a reverse grip row followed by a neutral grip row. So we're just going to alternate in between these two positions working down that pyramid. So grab your dumbbells that are going to challenge you and let's do this. Don't forget to start your watch if you are using that as well. And let's hinge it on at the hips, keeping that back flat, reverse grip to a neutral grip row. Here we go. Good, keeping your back flat, core is engaged, squeezing those shoulder blades around your spine. Slight bend in the knee. Good, Whew, more than halfway through this first set. Last one. Good, we've got 15 seconds, and then we're gonna move right back in to that same exercise, increasing our time by just a smidge. So let's get ready to lower it back down. We've got less than five, and we go. Here we go. Squeeze, good. Feel on the back now. Don't forget to breathe. And you can focus on breathing out as you pull that weight up. Think about your back muscles working here as well. Focus on that muscle we're working. Whew, almost there. We're mixing things up a little bit with this workout because we are increasing that time. Last one, 15 seconds, oh, and then we've got 60 seconds. So again, challenging those muscles to help get them stronger. You're rocking it out. Getting ready in three, two, let's go. And squeeze. Make sure you're controlling that weight up and down. I know we are gonna start, those muscles are gonna start to feel fatigued at this point because we've been working them hard. <sighs> Breathing so your tempo may change a bit. You may be a bit slower and that is okay. Just focus on proper form here. <sighs> and squeeze, good. <sighs> Last time to hit that back. So work it hard right now. Breathing, that 30 second rest is gonna be here soon. Less than 10. Last one. Whew, good. Set your weights down, grab a drink, dry off. You can do that anytime you need to. Also, you can take longer recovery anytime you need to. Next exercise, we are gonna be working the biceps. So we're really gonna be concentrating on our bicep muscles. Think about those muscles. It's gonna be a wide curl, to a regular curl. So out wide, and then that neutral grip again. Grab weight that's gonna challenge you. You can always go heavier and take it down if you need to. But really, we're working. We've got just over 20 minutes. Here we go. Wide curl and regular. Again, you don't have to follow my tempo. You can work at whatever pace you are working at. Breathe out as you lift that weight. Awesome job. Squeeze. Bicep muscles are already awake after working back. Both our pull muscles there. Last one. Oh, amazing. 15 seconds. Oh. 
things are moving quick here. Getting back into position. So you can have a wider stance or you can have a staggered stance. Just keep a slight bend in your knee. Here we go. Don't swing the weight to get it up. Use the bicep muscle. Keeping that chest up, head up, shoulders rolled down and back, away from your ears. Good. Make sure you're getting full range of motion too. So if you're, if you're struggling to get that full range of motion, take a quick recovery. Try to get back into it with the same weight or adjust your weight down. All ways to make modifications to keep form and get the most out of each rep. Last one. All right, 15 seconds, 60 seconds this time. You know, if you've worked out with me before, we don't usually hit 60 seconds. So again, we are challenging ourselves in a new way today. So I'm so excited that you are here for this workout. Let's begin. Again, we've got to challenge ourselves to change. So don't forget that during this 60 seconds here. So I'm gonna be pushing right along with you. And squeeze, good. Keep those elbows tucked in. Oh, awesome job. Don't forget to breathe. And breathe out, good. 30 seconds is a coming. You're gonna have a longer recovery. Less than 15 now. That's just a few reps left. And squeeze, good. Control it down and this is it. 30 seconds. Oh, I'm gonna set the weights down just for a second. Again, anytime, dry off, grab a drink. We're gonna go into an Arnold press. So palms will be facing you. We're gonna work the shoulders with this move. We're gonna come up and down. Again, control it up and control it down. Challenge yourself, you can always adjust your weight if you need to. But let's get ready to go. We've got about five seconds. Three times through this move. Here we go. Slight bend in the knees. Core is definitely engaged. Thinking belly button to spine here. Slow and controlled. All the way up, all the way down. I love the 30 seconds. It is a beautiful thing. It's over before we know it. Last one, 15 seconds, grab a drink, dry off. How you doing with weight? Did you challenge yourself? We've got two more times here with this shoulder move. So if you need to move up, if you need to move down, grab it now, get back into position, and let's begin. Think about that shoulder muscle working, shoulder muscles. There are more than one working. Good. Oh, they are on fire. It burns so good. Oh, so good. Less than 10. Come on, that's just a couple reps left. Last one. Whew. Good. Man, I need like an in-between of five and 7.5 right now, like six kg. I'm gonna work for this though. We're going, this is the last time through for Arnold Press. So get ready, bring that weight up, 60 seconds. I may need to adjust in between. And don't forget that is always okay if you are in the middle of a set and you need to adjust to keep that form to keep full range of motion. Breathing. Come on, you are strong, you can do this. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go down. Oh yeah, still a shake for sure. But I know my form was starting to get questionable. 
And especially with shoulders, you wanna be careful and not push yourself too hard because that can be a very delicate area in the body. So always listen to your body. Do what you need to do. A couple more reps. And time. Amazing. All right, I'm gonna get these out of here. We are going into standing chest flies now. All of these exercises are standing today. Standing chest fly. We're gonna be out wide. We've done these before. We're gonna bring it up. Squeeze right here. Squeeze that muscle. This is a lighter weight. So I'm gonna try for five. But get your position, hips tucked, core engaged, and let's begin. Now you're not lifting up too high here in this move, but you can feel that right away. Squeeze. So we're out wide and we come in. Good. Breathing. Couple more reps, you're almost there. Last one. Shake it out. Whew. Feeling good. You are doing awesome. I am shaking, I am burning with you right now. I mean, the shake is real. This is what you got. When you got 20 minutes, we're gonna make it count. And squeeze, good. And this is part of Fit for the Holidays. And if you have been sticking with that program, you should see that you are getting stronger. And the way you will notice that is if you are moving up in weight, with this workout, you will see with that 60 seconds at the beginning of the program, that may not have been doable, but now you're getting stronger and you're able to increase that time. So just different things, the number of reps you're doing, the number of weight, and also just how you're feeling towards the end of that workout. So amazing job if you've been sticking with that program. Last one. Good. 15 seconds. This is it. So again, focus on that muscle you're working. Think about that squeeze in right here. Let's go again. Last time. That is my favorite thing to say. Last time. Oh my goodness, here we go. But again, you don't want the weight to come up too high. So just keep it right in line here with your chest. Breathing. Make it any face you need to right now to get through this. Uh, that's my face. More than halfway. Oh my goodness, we are doing it. I have to keep changing foot positions, feet positions. I don't know, I can't talk. Oh yes, 15. Few more seconds, come on. Last one. And down, 30 seconds to rest. Breathing, grabbing a drink. Next exercise, we are going into a side lateral raise. Here, we're gonna work that uh, lateral deltoid, that medial deltoid, this muscle that gives your shoulder that rounded look. So this is gonna be the move. Again, a lighter weight to start out if you wanna do that. Get those feet planted, core engaged, and here we go. Lifting and lowering. Same thing with this move. You don't need to go wee, way too high. Don't bring it up too high. Just in line with your shoulders and then lower back down. Good. Breathing. Almost there. Last rep here. Good. All right, how did you feel with that weight? If you need to adjust, we've got 10 seconds left to do that. If not, enjoying the break. Feels good. All right, back into position. Get those feet planted and let's begin.
Keep your chest up. Don't let your chest fall forward with this move. Make sure you've got it up. Hey, less than 30 now. That is amazing. Oh my goodness. Oh. Almost there. Come on, a few more reps. Last one. Good, all right. Setting the weights down. Shake it out if you need to. Adjust weight. <sighs> Breathing. Five seconds and we go. Here's three, two. Last time through this move. We've done pyramid workouts before, and I really love them because it is a new challenge. To mix things up. Breathe out as you lift up. Again, think about that medial deltoid, your shoulder muscle here lifting, controlling it down. Two exercises left, and that is it. Less than 15, you've got it. You know, that's just a few reps left. Last one here. Perfect. Okay, so we just hit the medial deltoid. Now we're gonna work that rear deltoid. So this is a small muscle. We're gonna hinge it over like we would that uh, row, but we're gonna fly the arms here, just like this. So keep the back flat, core engaged. You've got 10 seconds. Again, this is a smaller muscle, so make sure you choose weight accordingly, something to challenge you, but not too heavy. So form is being affected. Here we go, 30 seconds. Back flat, core engaged. Breathing. Oh, 10 seconds. Oh, there we are. Getting ready for that recovery. Last one, good. Breathing. I'm gonna dry off right quick. Whew. Shaking it out. Whew. Tightening, defining, we're working it right now. Here we go, set two. 45 seconds this time, check your form. Back is flat, core is engaged. Whew. Breathing out with the lift, so right here. Amazing job, amazing job. Fifteen seconds. Oh goodness gracious. I am I am on fire. The last one, how you doing? You are rocking it. You've made it to this point. And we have one more round, sixty seconds and then one more exercise and boom, you did it. We gotta grab those weights, we gotta go again. I'm so glad we can do this together, for real. You were pushing me right now. Breathing. Forty seconds. If it starts to get too intense with both arms, just do one at a time. You can totally modify by doing one at a time to bring down that intensity and let one side get a little bit of a longer break in between. But if not, listen, we've got just over 20 seconds and you are rocking it out. This is the last time here. We're gonna hit triceps to finish things off. That is the back of the arm. Good. 10 seconds. A few more reps. A 
Last one. Oh, good. Could not have done one more. I really could not have done one more. So triceps. Tricep kickbacks is what we're gonna work. We're gonna be back in that hinged position. We are going to have those weights up close to your body. We're just going to extend here. So the only thing that's moving here is this elbow. We gotta grab our weight. Grab something that's gonna challenge you. This is it. This is it. Three sets. Let's hinge it over. Here we go. Back flat, core engaged. Again, don't let those elbows drop down. Don't let the weights come out wide, or your elbows come out wide. Keep it in nice and tight and narrow and kick it back. Back flat, core engaged. Feel in the back of the arm now. Yep. Again, it's another smaller muscle group. Last one. Set the weights down 15 seconds. <sighs> Breathing. Okay, we gotta go again. Here we go. Again, if you need to modify to take a little bit of the intensity down, you can lower your weights. You can do alternating arms, one arm and then the other, just like this. Just make sure your form is thick and strong for you. Come on over halfway through this set. Check your form right now. You've got 10 seconds. Last one. And in. Good. Oh my gosh. Now I can seriously say this is the last time through. This is the last 60 seconds we have got to work. You are the bomb. Tell yourself right that. Tell yourself that right now because this has not been a cakewalk, okay? This is a challenging whew, workout and you are killing it. I'm so proud of you. <sighs> Feels so good when you accomplish something. And this is a huge accomplishment. This was super challenging. I'm shaking, I'm burning with you. And again, I'm so glad <laughs> you joined me for this. Oh yes, oh yes, over halfway. Check your form, make sure those arms are not coming out, they're not dropping down. Almost there, come on, 10 seconds, couple reps. Last one. Yes. Oh my. Amazing, amazing job. That was it. That was our smidge over 20 minutes upper body pyramid workout. And you bombed it. You did it. And I cannot thank you enough for joining me. You are not quite done. Not quite done. You've either got to go grab a stretch or if you want to keep on keeping on, you got that right over there. And I will see you at either one of those. Thanks again. I love you.